like they're hoping for something greater to happen than what's actually happening. And maybe that's where that might play into it. I don't have the answer either. I mean, it's, it's, it's all observational at this point, but. Well, these uh, patterns of thinking are more, I think, akin to religious thinking than, uh, you know, a, a lot of mm -hmm. views that can't be verified or don't seem based on facts. It, it's, yeah, it's more along the lines of, of kind of spiritual thinking than, than journalistic. Yeah, no, I, I can agree there, too. And I think that's why a lot of them, a lot of people, whenever they bring up something that may be based on, have some religious basis for the way they're thinking, that it's like whenever you question it or or say, well, I, it's like, okay, I hear what you're saying, but what about this? And you can present them with a fact and it's like, no, you're questioning, you know, it's like they... If you if you ask them, it's like you're they're, you're automatically questioning their faith, and they just don't want to listen to it when you're not really trying to do that. If that makes sense, um, yeah. And we did lots of epi a couple episodes that touched on misinformation and conspiracy thinking in our one year nineteen forty two yes, series yes. as well. So I, I mean, it's a kind of age old question, and the fact that we're still talking about it 